welcome back to the channel. So today we've got the 2024 M3 Competition, the G80 chassis. This is a customer ordered car, as most of our M3s now are. Uh, I say that because we have some store inventory ones coming in again. All right, so a couple notes. This is done prior to PDR, pre-delivery inspection. So things may not be working, some other stuff might be on, etc. Let's go over this build that this customer has. So we have up front the laser lights, which of course will go away with model year 25 for the M3 that begins production in July. So what you'll see is, since the M3 shares the front fascia with the M4, this will become just like the M4. Then we've got our horizontal kidney slant grill here, M3 competition badging in the middle, not the middle, on the uh, driver's side grill. Then parking assistance package, you see the camera right there. And taking a step back, we'll take in our three quarters view of Dravit Gray. A very good color, but not an extremely popular one on the M3, M4. Over the side, we have the style 826M bicolor wheels and the M compound brake coppers in red. And the tire lottery loss for this customer, it's the Pirelli P0s. You can see that wheel gap does exist because there's some shipping blocks there to protect the suspension from any undue travel when it's strapped in for its ride across the oceans. Here's our side profile. We will stop at the rear calipers, again noting that the M clip that used to be there for probably model year 22 does no longer exist. It might have been there for 23, but I can't recall at the top of my head. There's a three-quarter view, a little bit of sunlight coming out. And then at the back with N3 competition badging, high gloss black, our faux diffuser with our quad exhaust, and our gurney flap up here in high gloss black, and then standard carbon fiber roof. You can opt for a moonroof, but I think I'm probably count on one hand the amount of customers who have ordered the sunroof in either moonroof in either M3 or M4 guys. Is that sun coming out in between rainstorms again here in California. All right, so let's go on inside and go over pricing and options. All right, so opening up, we have the Kalami Orange full merino leather. You can tell because the door cards here are in Kalami Orange. Standard M, maybe M Sport seat might be the right word, I can't remember. And then M3 badging here. The seat is really comfortable. For me, I go for the bucket seats, but that's going to be up to you and your personal preferences. And you got adjustments here for side bolster and lumbar support and the manual crumb catcher. M3 badging on the door sill. It's on the inside, the standard M steering wheel. Now this will change. I think we've seen some leaks, not leaks, but we've seen photos of the 2025 M4 with a flat button steering wheel, which I think comes from the new 5 series, as well as the 7 series. Then carbon fiber trim means you get these little inserts here for the steering wheel. Carbon fiber shift paddles, red M1, M2 buttons. In front of me, I drive 8 in M mode road. So this is the standard thing that you're going to get. Uh, model year 25 should have 8.5. Then up top, we've got our heads up display. The rest of your curved display again, prior to PDI means navigation system is not loaded up yet. Carbon fiber trim. Our embossed M emblem on the gear selector, M stitching. All right, so talking about pricing. So starting price of the M3 comp, 80,200 bucks. Dravit gray metallic is a premium paint for 1950. Kilami orange, full leather, another 2300. Parking assistance package for 700. The exact package for the 1700. Carbon fiber trim for $950. Front ventilated seats for another $350. The laser lights are $1,000. And all told, MSRP of this particular example, a little over $90,000. All right, we'll go ahead and hop the back seat, pop the hood, etc. All right, move into the back. All right, here's the Kalami Orange. I mean, it's a really good contrast against Dravit Gray. I've also seen Fjord Blue, and it works really well against Dravit Gray. All 
All right, here's a view of the cockpit from the back seat. Then you got climate control zone in the back here for your rear passengers. USB-C charging ports at the bottom. And knee room and leg room, pretty good. And headroom, at least for most people, isn't going to be an issue for M3 rear passengers. All right, so I'll move to the trunk. I'll note again, there's no kick to open on the M2, M3, M4. So you have to do that the old fashioned way. It doesn't want to open up all the way. But the cargo area is a pretty good size. You can also fold down those rear seats with a little latch right there on either side, which means a pretty good extra space for your maybe Ikea runs or something like that. And then you do get a power tailgate with the executive package. All right, make your way to the front and pop the hood. All right, so underneath the hood is the S58 inline six, three liter twin turbo engine, 503 horsepower, 479 torques. Now I imagine this will follow the M4 recipe. So the X drive versions will get an extra 20 horsepower. And that's for model year 25, begins production in July. That's it for a quick tour around another M3. We'll see you at the next video.